Hello again fellas, it's me again. Just a quick video today. I've got this old tungsten halogen lamp. It's used in a Thorn uh, Sunspot floodlight. And as you can tell from the colour, it's seen quite a lot of use. And it finally went pop. When it went pop, it took out a 32 amp breaker. So I must have had quite a nice arc in there. Now, instead of throwing it in the bin, I'm going to smash it open and see if we can get a nice close up of the filament. For this task we need Universal Reset Tool, aka Mr. Smashy. <laughs> Nice bang. And there's the damage, just for scale. There's my finger. We're going to get that and see if we can get a macro shot of it. Right, here's a close up of a section of it. Probably the closest I can get. I might try and play around with the uh, focus a bit, but let's just give a bit of scale. If I can get this on there, that's a tape measure. So, you can see the scale of it there, and you can also see the construction there. You've got a coil, oh sorry, a single strand of tungsten made into a coil, which is then made into another coil. <laughs> That's actually how they make these things. I'll try and play the focus, see if we can get that better. Yeah, it's pretty fascinating that. Well there you go, the filaments from a tungsten halogen lamp. You might notice blobs of tungsten deposited randomly on the filaments. That's because of the halogen cycle. Evaporated tungsten is deposited on the hottest part of the lamp, which is the filament. It greatly increases the life of these lamps and also means you can run them hotter and therefore get much more light out of them. I hope that's been interesting for you. Thanks for watching.